Are you recording? Okay. Um, here's Commander Kitty. First I'm going to make him a uh, smart object, like that. Then, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to go into that smart object by double-clicking on the icon here. I'm going to add a mask to it so that I can take out some sections and make him look like he's being transported away. I'm just going to put a few circles around. Like so. And I'm going to add a layer on top of that and just draw in a few bubbles so that he's like vaporizing before our eyes. Like that. Okay? Let me put a background behind this so that you can see it a little better. Okay? So that's all I've done there. And I'm going to save that and close it. And my smart object will reflect those changes. Note how this is just one layer. It's a smart object. And I can double click this icon and it will uh, give me all those layers I worked with here. So any change I make to this will be reflected in the smart object on my main um, file here. Now, um, what I'm going to do is put a wavy effect on him. So I'm going to select that layer, just go up to the filter uh, menu, choose distort and wave and we'll pick a good wave. This one looks all right. And we'll apply it. Now because this is a smart object, any filter that I put on it, it adds it like it would add a, uh, a style. So I can turn it on and off. See? Now, this icon next to the eye here is, a, is just a regular mask. So I can choose a gradient if I select that mask like that and I have a gradient selected I can just click and drag and draw a gradient so that the filter the filter effect itself is masked. See? This part down here is all wavy, and up top, his head is not affected by the mask, by the filter. If I did it the other way, it's his, his bottom is, is normal, and his head is all wavy. <clears throat> so that's the way I want it. And, uh, you know, if you, if you hold shift and click on the mask icon, you can turn it on or off. Oops. And every filter that you apply to a smart object is shown up as its own layer that you can turn on and off, like that. So I'm going to add another filter to this, if I can remember where it is, halftone pattern. That brings up this, and I'm going to add a halftone pattern like that. And see that it's only affected the bottom. Oops. I'm going to stretch that gradient out a little more. Now, um, I don't want this looking black and white like this, so I'm going to add, um, I don't know what these are called, actually. Create new fill or adjustment layer. Okay, I'm going to add an adjustment layer. 
Um, and I'm going to do hue and saturation. So this lets me uh, control the color a little better. See? This slider affects the color. So I'm going to choose something opposite like that. And hit OK, and you see the whole thing is now yellow. The whole image has been adjusted. But this layer also has a mask that I can select and modify, like that. I've got my gradient tool selected. I have the mask icon selected. So now I'm able to add a mask like that. And that's the way I want it. Um, let me add a, a background here. So you can see. And that's how I did that. I think that's all.